Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for tuning in to another vacuum video here on YouTube. I previously mentioned uh, in the last video I did, which is which I was uh, talk about the Minuteman Phenom 15-inch uh, commercial upright in the Windsor XP Sensor XP15. I was going over the pros and cons of each vacuum. That based on my experiences, where you know, as a janitor for local, um, lo one of the local middle schools. The Maple Avenue Middle School in Littlestown, PA, which is close to my home in Hanover. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mentioned Tasky a little bit, and I, sh and I showed the previous video. Um, and so here I'm showing off what I was talking about. The Tasky vacuum I actually used before. Um, I had another, I had a janitor position in Goodwill Industries of Canal Valley. Um, when I lived in West Virginia for a bit. And I got to use the Tasky uh, vacuum when cleaning a college. It was a Bridge Valley Community Technical College. And so I used, got to use the Tasky vacuum for cleaning the whole, you know, classrooms and hallways. And it actually looks very similar to the Minuteman vacuum. And I'll show you what, that real quick. There's the Minuteman vacuum I'm talking about. Kind of looks a little bit similar. There's some cause there's some differences in looks, probably as well as features. I mean, the powerhead does look may look a little bit different cosmetically. Um, also, the handle design is different, and also one uh, notable difference is the hose. I noticed with the Tasky when I use the Tasky, the hose is is not a stretch hose. It's just a standard hose. And I noticed that it seemed kind of weird. And I think the bag design, I think, is similar or kind of like the Minuteman uh, vacuum, which is kind of interesting. And here's a what's really neat or kind of interesting, I should say, it's interesting, is that the Tasky vacuums as well as the Minuteman Phenom, I believe they're both made by a company called Linhouse. And yes, I actually, while I'm on that, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because they just seem, little, they seem very similar to each other. They seem a little too similar to you know be a coincidence. And I'll scroll down to a vacuum that what I'm talking about kind of looks similar. This is for example. This is an example of a Lindhouse vacuum. And as you can see, it looks actually looks. This actually looks a lot like the Tasky. In a way, because the in design and shape, it also looks similar to the Minuteman. That's the Lin House, for example. That's the Lin House 4x50. I never used one, so I can't really say, you know, experience one, um, what that's like. Again, I never would use, you know, any of the Lin Houses before. I mean, they look like nice vacuums. There's another one that's. That's actually no, actually that may be a little bit kind of similar too. Yeah, the same handle, same hose design, brush, crevice tool. Anyway, that's the Lin House. Uh, but again, notice with this one, it's kind of similar. I had also used a pacer, uh, pacer upright, in which. Let me see if I can find a video on that. Let me pause the video quick here, and I'll bring up a tab for that. Okay, that was pretty quick. I managed to find the pacer vacuum I was referring to. So, like I said, this is a pacer. That's a pacer 12 or 15 UE, I guess the pacer 12. That's another vacuum I had used at the uh, Bridge Valley Community Technical College. Um, so, I might do a comparison video on that too. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to be making a lot of videos tonight. But anyway, there's a task again. I. Again, I used Tasky vacuums at, at my previous uh, janitor position for Goodwill Industries in West Virginia. And so, again, it looks very similar to a Lynn House. And I know it sounds like I'm going on about nothing. <laughs> so, bear with me here. Uh, but, yeah, that's. I just want to do a quick video showing the Tasky. I was kind of explaining, mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, Showing you what I was talking about, but anyway, I'm actually I'll do a video comparing the Tasky to the Pacer, 
And I don't really have either machine, like, I don't own either machine, you know, myself. But I have used both machines before, and so, and so I do have, you know, feel I have enough experience with the machines to provide my insight on that. Again, like, again, you, maybe if you're, for, I guess, for a vacuum enthusiast, you might not hear much about these, because, again, they're commercial-grade vacuums. They don't really sell to, like, retail, you know, to your general vacuum store or your Walmart, Kmart, or whatever. Most of the time, it's for janitorial supply outlets. So, so I might do a couple videos on on a couple of these machines, you know, see, you know, check out the different lines of vacuums and, you know, be along for the ride. But anyway, I'll do a video uh, comparing the task heat and pacer. I'll read all the features of each machine. I'll give experiences to that. But anyway, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll do more videos in the future. I do plan on doing a video on my Bissell uh, Pro Heat Pet Deep Cleaner. I just got to get parts for it, but once I get parts for it, I'll show you that in action because I do have a bunch of carpets and, and uh, in an area rug that needs shampooing. But I'll do that in the near future. So ring the bell, tap on the, click on the bell button icon so you can get uh, notified about more va new videos I post so you can watch it. And hopefully, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys soon. So this is Ryan signing off. Stand by, you know, stay tuned for more videos.